Hello everyone, I'm going to do an update on Rose. I got Rose January 6th and it is now February 6th, so I thought I'd do an update on everything I've done and how she's doing. You gotta tell, you gotta see, she's looking really good. Um, I've got some new subscribers on the channel um, and if bearded dragon videos are what you like, this is perfect, but I also do videos on chicken care sometimes on dogs and sometimes when I kill something that I tried to grow in my garden because it just doesn't work out but for right now uh, this is a one month update on Rose and she's doing really great the only thing that I keep having to do is clean out with a q-tip and distilled water uh, her eyes water a little bit and she gets a little bit of uh, you know that dries up and gets a little bit crusty so I, I clean those out but um, at the end of this video, I've got a clip of her eating her worms, and of her eating greens, and of her swimming in the bath. So if you want to stay around for the end of the video, uh, you can see those. But definitely leave me a comment, um, you know, if you like one thing over another, or you want a different kind of video, or if you just like what you see, let me know. Um, so a month ago I got her, and she was not, well, I should phrase it differently. She was very stubborn about what she ate. And her previous owner, who had her for a year, um, she tried to go with what Rose already liked, which was crickets. And that was kind of it. I think sometimes she gave her hornworms, maybe once or twice a month. And she worked very, very hard to try to get her used to eating whatever vegetables or fruit she could get her to eat. Bearded dragons can be so stubborn. So, she did a really good job. She did. Rose was ready to eat, but it was mostly crickets, and I cannot stand dealing with crickets. They stink, they die, they hide in the tank. It just drives me nuts. And you can't leave them in the tank overnight because they like to mess with reptile eyes when the reptiles sleep. Um, so that's a problem. So you don't want to leave them in there overnight. But I'm going to show you what I did. So. Here's the stuff that I use. Um, first of all, I use my solar meter to make sure she had good UVB wherever she wanted to sit. Um, and I'll show you, we'll test it right now. We've got an Acadia bulb in there. And it's a T5 light. So I put this about where she is, aim it at the light. You know, we've got around eight, which is kind of hot. Um, the reason I'm okay with that is Rose wasn't the healthiest dragon and she doesn't always sit on her log. She can, she's got a little cave. She goes in that sometimes. It's, a lot of times she's over here on the floor, which it's hard to get a reading on the floor, but that's, that's around 3.6. So I know exactly how much she's getting and she's doing okay. She, as long as they can move around and get into the light and out of the light as they want to, they usually know what they need. So to fix the picky eating, these little saucers are so good. The bugs cannot, cannot climb out. So raw, raw honey bee pollen. Uh, some friends of mine, um, I'm a, a patron of Animal One Guy. He's got a YouTube channel and he set up a Discord server so we can all talk about this stuff. And one of the folks in there advised, you know, honey bee pollen, and Animal One Guy said this as well. It will. It has a lot of vitamins and it makes them hungry. So I thought, okay, how in the world? How in the world am I going to get this powder into this dragon? What am I going to do? So I opened up one of the capsules after thinking about it for longer than I want to admit. And I sprinkled it all over the bottom of the bowl. Put the worms in there. And I kind of did the whole fog the mirror breath thing on the worms. And then I sprinkled some on top. So they, they crawl around and they get that powder on them. And then she would eat just a little bit. And it only takes a little sprinkle. And she had done that one day. And I kept, I kept the greens in there. And she had tasted greens. She knew that that was food. She knew what it tasted like. But after just one day of eating the little sprinkles, she woke up and first thing before she was warm before anything she went over to her bowl she ate the worms she ate some greens i thought oh my gosh 
it worked. So I kept those in there for a while. I thought she'll get used to that and it wasn't too much. It was just a little sprinkle. And if you can see, they're crawling around and they're getting some of that on them. And forgive me, this is a GoPro. <laughs> a GoPro camera, the screen is so tiny. I'm trying to tell if it's focused or not. So she wakes up hungry now. She has woken up and literally gone over to eat greens they don't have anything on them. There's no fruit juice on them or anything like that. You know, the, the previous owner was doing everything that she could think of to get her to eat greens. She would mix up fruit really, really tiny and stir it in with the kale. She was trying so hard. So I managed to get her hungry enough with this. She knew it was food and she went over and got some. So what's in the bottom there now, now that it's been a little while, Another person who does a reptile rescue was using this stuff. Rapashi Beardy Buffet. Um, and this is a powder and it goes a long way. And I know she, she brought some reptiles back from the brink of death with this stuff. And you mix it up with water, there's instructions. Um, but I want, I want Rose to understand that it's food and I want her to get used to the smell of it. So I just sprinkled a little bit. She's used to there being powder <clears throat> on the bottom of the, the plate so that's not weird to her I'm telling you she's really picky and if it doesn't look like the food that she's used to she won't touch it um, so that's what I'm trying now so I'm gonna keep that in there for a while so she'll get used to the smell she'll get used to the taste a little bit and then when she smells this stuff it has so much good stuff in there all kinds of bugs all kinds of vitamins I think there's uh, I feel like there's probiotics as well, but there's a lot of good stuff. So that's that's how she's doing. Um, I did sprinkle this on the bottom for a few days. It's just I I at first uh, dusted the crickets with this, and she ate them, and then she got upset. <laughs> so I thought, okay, I'm gonna go easy on that, and I got the one without D because her uh, her light has vitamin D going on. And that's what we want so we're just doing that she's supposedly four years old but I'll tell you something she looks young she does not look four years old but she's doing good aren't you pretty aren't you pretty so there's our update I'm trying to think if I missed anything but stay tuned because I've got a few clips of her eating and swimming in the bath and what's wonderful is my other dragon he doesn't swim he just sits so it's pretty neat. So, Rose, you're doing great. And I got her this, a tank she likes. It's glass, she gets to look out the window. She gets to look at me at my desk. And I put up, put some fabric up between her and Murray. See right on the other side, we've got this big dude. <laughs> I see you, Murray, I see you. Every now and then he smells of her or something and he comes bananas. Um, she's doing really good she actually went she got in her cave and she started exploring her tank she went through the little tunnel but when I got her she would sleep several hours into the morning she didn't have a lot of energy but lately with uh, with the good vitamins and the greens that she will finally eat on her own she's got more energy and I'm proud of her so there's my update and we're going towards 10 minutes, so I'm going to put those clips at the end. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time.